What intriguing thread weaves together such diverse works as Finnegan's Wake, Tristram Shandy, Gargantua and Pantagruel, The Anatomy of Melancholy, Gulliver's Travels, In Praise of Folly, Candide, Sartor Resartus, Alice in Wonderland, The Third Policeman, and Point Counterpoint. The answer lies deep within the realm of literary genres, in a form known as Manipian Satire. Named after the Greek cynic parodist Manippus, Manipian satire is a distinct type of satire that targets mental attitudes rather than specific individuals or entities. It's a rich tapestry of allegory, picaresque narrative and satirical commentary, woven with threads of parody, mythological burlesque and critique of traditional myths. The genre sharply targets various social types, presenting them as embodiments of the ideas they represent. Each of the mentioned works is a testament to the power of Manipian satire. Take for instance, Tristram Shandy, with its rapid shifts in style and perspective, or Gulliver's Travels, with its biting critique of society and its norms. The fragmented narrative of Finnegan's Wake, the stylized characterization in Alice in Wonderland, the social philosophical tendencies of In Praise of Folly, all point towards the essence of Manipian satire. But perhaps the most striking feature of this genre is its focus on mental attitudes rather than human characters. It sees evil and folly as diseases of the intellect, a concept that resonates through works such as Candide and the Anatomy of Melancholy. So, to answer the initial question, what do these works have in common? They all utilize Manipian satire to critique not just individuals or societies, but the very attitudes and mindsets that permeate them. Through this exploration of Manipian satire, we've delved into the intricate connections between these seemingly diverse works. We've discovered how each of them, in their unique ways, embody the essence of this genre, using their narratives to critique mental attitudes and social norms. In essence, these works serve as mirrors reflecting the follies and vices of our minds and in doing so, they create a shared thread of critical introspection that runs through each of them, binding them together in the realm of Manipian satire. This exploration of Manipian satire is not just an academic exercise. It's a journey into the heart of literature, revealing how authors from different eras, cultures, and perspectives can converge on a common theme. It's a testament to the enduring power of satire to reflect society, challenge norms, and provoke thought. This journey has only just begun. As we continue to explore and understand the nuances of Manipian satire, we'll uncover more connections, more shared threads, and more insights into the minds of the authors and the societies they critiqued. It's a fascinating journey, one that reveals the power of literature to reflect, critique and ultimately transform our world.